So it's been going to be there today? <laughs> of course he is. He's taken the day off. He's travelling down specially. He's proud of his little brother. Yeah, <coughs> of course he is. Oh yeah, look. Look, here we are. It sits on his block. <coughs> well, he's got a new block. No, 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 he has another block, general block. Does he? Here we are, off down south way. Little brother off to Afghanistan. Oh, oh Josh is a cliche, man. Second time round for little bruv. You're a brave boy, Josh. Don't know if I could do it. Oh, he's good of him to say that. That would mean a lot to Josh. Yeah, well, I know. Does it cost to say the right thing? No. Look, when Josh was born, I was scared. Him being so little, so crammy. Thought when they handed him to me, no, I can't touch him. He's a new life. He's a He's a clean sheet and I'm going to put my grubby fingerprints all over him and I don't want to be the one to, to dirty him. <gasps> oh, look at him. Oh, Doug, you've done those too. You see what I mean? You know, that thought never occurred to me 
me with Ben, first time round, because Ronnie was always such a solid little thing, but, but Josh. When I held him in my arms, and looked down at him, and he struggled in my arms, and he looked up at me, I knew. Well, he wasn't a clean sheet at all. He was, he was already there, though. He was, he was Josh, all right. He was restless. Even before he came into this world, he was Josh. Which was quite a relief, actually. Because it's not what we think. <clears throat> Hi, Josh's mum. How's your little boy then? Jamie's not taking time off in Devon. Tell him to get his sorry ass back out here. <laughs> Bring some of them cheese straws, thicker. <laughs> oh, Jamie sod. Well, he is, isn't he? Yeah, certainly he is. Always had the luck of the devil. It's not a nice thing to say, though. Oh, look, it's just the same, Chrissy. I don't mean anything by it. Well, it's still not nice. He's always been lucky, yeah? Mm. Never broke a bone in his life before this. <laughs> Josh! Chrissy! <laughs> as they bomb the black turban bastards back to the stone age where they belong. That is not nice, Dad. Come. Oh. Where does all this come from? It's all out there in the ether, Chrissy. It is all what's being said. It's what soldiers are saying. Blogs, books, stuff on the news, all that bunnies gather. It's sick. Oh, it's not healthy. Shut yourself down there in front of all them screams. The door is open. Yeah, but you're not. You're not open. Not at all. You're not even trying to understand. That is exactly no. what I am trying From to From the day Josh joined up, you have never tried to understand. You've always taken it as some kind of attack. I can't make it fit. Like, you should be proud of it. He's Which is the best I should be proud, be proud of. of. Well, but you're twisting it. I mean, everything, you're twisting it. You, you, you take a bit here and you, you chop a bit there, and it's not the truth. It's somebody's truth. It's all what's being said. You're not seeing it right. Because you only hear what you want to hear. I don't know what it is that I want to hear, Chrissy. Look, I want to be proud. I want this to be a glorious thing that Josh does, but I don't understand. I understand what my dad did that. Look, I understand the all-out war thing, yeah? Fighting to save your country. That, I understand how it shaped up to it. I have no idea, but I, I understand that. But my son, choosing 
to join up to fight a war. Frankly, my son. My son. Hey, Chrissy. He is my son. He is legally my son. I adopted them both. It's a long time since you fallen in that, but... I need you to listen to me and tell me what it is I'm really saying. People say to me, my sister say to me, you're not going to let him go back home. I say that. It's what you're really saying to me, isn't it? And I say to them, I say to you, yes, I am. I am going to let him go back because it's what he wants and I wouldn't have a mission with I know as I say that. I know even as I say it, it sounds a bit bizarre. I'm not wanting him to die, of course I'm not. I don't even want him to go. But it's the only way to keep him. It's that. Uh, you see, because if I, if I say no, I breathe the word of hint of no. <laughs> I lose him. He's with the army now. He's with Spanner and Minga and Dicker and Peter Boy and Mad Mitch and Ripper and and Razzle. Poor dear Razzle. They're his family. They've got it. They indulge me. Josie's not going to be baked and cakes, but I'm not kidding myself. But one day, maybe he'll he'll need me. Need us, need this funny little family we are. Need to be back in Devon where it's green and quiet and beautiful and a little bit dull and a, and a bit shit and a bit of a joke where the KFC is moving where the wimpy ones were. Maybe one day they'll need all this. You know, maybe one day he'll need a way back. And that's why I don't say no, Dad. We should be there to wave him off. And, and the rest of it doesn't matter, does it? I mean, it doesn't. I mean, the whys, the wherefores, they, they don't matter, though. I mean, they really don't. It's time. 